Hello everyone, my name is Mutual and welcome back. So, we are heading to the mission, but I'm gonna buy the lightning strike to help us out and hopefully help us avoid those tight missions because we get that extra movement in the first two rounds. Other thing I could buy is the grenadier biggest boom. It's it's good, but I'm gonna go with lightning strike right, right now. PCS bonuses would be nicer too, but I don't really have that many PCS, so lightning strike is it. At least I will see if this skill is or upgrade is useful in any shape or form. Other than that. Okay, where were we heading? I think it was... Oh yeah, so of course. Right. We need to stop this. So it's destroy the alien. Alien relay mission. I think I set up my squad last time. Yeah. This looks like a pretty solid team, so... Let's go with this. Question mark. And maybe I do wanna take Ivan. Because the thing is, Serial is fully trained already. Too much to be there, right? So I might as well try to. No EXO switch, spider shield, please. It's as much as I'm trying to level up my secondary snipers. I hope it doesn't come back, back to bite us in the ass. But, right, see, he has the dead eye instead of lightning hands. Which could, we will see how useful it is. He only has aim of 92, but... It has to be enough. Okay. I'm pretty sold on this plan, so... We have our double trust for the Grenadiers. So, yeah, let's do it. It is a very difficult mission. So, not okay. Tricky. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Dr. Tygen has picked up a signal from a hidden alien communications relay sending data to the Advent network from this area. Anything we can do to disrupt the aliens' logistics increases our chances of stopping their progress. We'll need to secure the area and eliminate any hostiles, then destroy the relay before they finish their transmission. Oh, so it's Dr. Tygen now. Bradford didn't seem to be too happy about him. Okay, so we are having a complete freeze. Is it crashing? No, it's just... It's just lowing hardcore. Right. Medic 1-5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. The communications relay seems to be at the other side of the map, which is a bummer. But yeah, we have the new weapons for our for our grenadiers, so we will see. And Brittany has already proved to be very, very good. How do I wanna? Somebody forget to equip a proper weapon, I guess. Do I wanna take the roof? I think I do. So, I'm gonna do the blue okay. move first. There actually could be guys right at the roof, so... I'm still going to do it. Even with the risk. We can also stash him. 
if needs be. Okay, so everyone get under the roof. We'll use the Affirmative. extra three speed Copy that. right away. Could actually use the grapple hook here and getting the position. So I'm gonna do it. Ivan is the only one using the Russian voice back, which is a mod, so it's also nice to hear, hear it. This should be safe, I think. Okay. It's only eight turns, so yeah, we need to we need to hurry. Schon dabei. This is see, this is probably a good spot for the Ivan for the rest of this map, so we have a sector bot and a mech, I think. Very, very close. Or well I guess they, <laughs> they could be every, anywhere. It's quite well. It's not narrow map. I thought it was a narrow map, but it extends extends in this di direction quite a lot. Okay, we kind of have eyes on here. Oh yeah, but the tower thing is. But I do think this is safe. I'm gonna take it. Confirmed. Trevor is a squaddy, so he doesn't have the phantom skill or leading fancy. So that's the sectoid and the Andromeda. I guess there's two sectoids. Oh, Archer. Do I wanna play this? One thing is sure, I don't want to get both of them at me. And we don't have that much time to set up. I could use stasis to remove one of these. Probably the Andromedon right away. I guess that could be a good move. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, everyone could move into a shooting range. I think even Torch can. So maybe we'll go go ahead right this turn. And stop wasting time. Confirmed. Sectorbot sound is always hilarious. She can actually move. Affirmative, moving out. Move here. Yeah. I can throw the stasis right away. Trevor is only one in the very bad position. He cannot absolutely he cannot stay here. And these are all squad side shots. So if I move Trevor back, we will only wake up this spawn, I think. It also incidentally means that we should not be completely screwed. We might not even need to use the stasis right away. It's not the spot for the stasis grenade, I don't think. Uh, stasis, I mean the blaster, blaster bomb. And I will save up on stasis, so... Trevor? I guess this is the only viable cover. He might still get flanked, which is a problem. But 
he cannot actually get back up. Opening this takes too much time. Hmm. This could be tricky. I mean, the second phase of Andromeda might just get a swing at him. But he needs to move in the cover. There's no question about that. Okay. I do have the gas bomb, but it's not useful here. I could do the dead eye shot right away, but I think I would much rather shred this guy first or try to shred it. Right, with the upgrade to plasma cannon or plasma whatever this is. It doesn't actually say. Plasma something. Stretch three armor. So I'm gonna lead with this attack actually. Let's see what happens after that. That's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I like I like our new weapon. Not surprisingly, the boat take full cover. I think this will remove both of their covers, so I'm gonna do it. out of cover, right, okay. Lightning hands would be nice right here. So maybe the dead eye is kinda dead. I mean, I would have a chance to kill it right away. With the sniper, with at least with the dead eye, I think. It's 88% shot. No, it's 90. 81. It's even worse. How is that? Right, the defense. And surprisingly, it doesn't actually guarantee the kill. How do I want to do this? She has the stock, so she could al always kill the sectoid. I think I won't do the stasis this turn. Just in case we get in trouble. Stasis had a cooldown of... It doesn't actually say it here. I think it was very short, something like two turns maybe. Okay, I'm gonna do this. That is good. You still do need to worry about the second phase. Then we pretty much have two shots. Oh, he doesn't or she doesn't see the sectoid. That's a problem. Neither of them does. Throw a grenade to deal with that. It feels like a bit of a waste of a grenade, but I think I have to do it. Or I don't have to, but I should. Let's see what spirit can do. If we get him low enough, we might be able to... Yeah, but there's zero percent chance for the... For the crit, so... I'm gonna do this anyway. That's nice damage. Let's just kill the sector. So we only have to worry about the one swing from that. 
That's a surprisingly poor result. Because I think that our setup was pretty good. Oh no, the safety box is smashing buildings. They really like to demolish everything. So yeah, he will get a swing. And a miss. We did not get acid, I think. Right. I could check this hack, actually. No. Accessing system. Let's see what we might get. I mean, that's okay. And that's not even that bad. This is way out of possibilities of getting, so I'm gonna take this 80%. Nice. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Next few attacks on it. I think it was set two on there, so. Oh, the cover is gone. Thanks to my liberal use of explosives. Can I take one turn? Where I don't advance. I think I have to take one. One slow turn. Mm. Alright, it was Spirit who had the battle scanner. I think I will still throw it. So that's a make. These guys are still right there. Mech is and his patriots are on the roof and no, no visual on the sector board whatsoever. I think what we will end do is explosion or blow up this end and just shoot it. I could get this pawn attention quite easily, but do I want to? I think I will take one turn off. Just Understood. going to shotgun, shotgun this guy and be done with him. Oh, I did. Just a little bit more damage. Oh, the problem is that he's actually in a pretty good position. So who wants to go down? I think everyone has to go down at some point, so it's not that. I want to use the hole in the floor. Okay, je me dirige vers la cible. Or I guess there was a staircase. No, it's a hole. Mainly because I don't want to. I don't want to get spotted right now. Okay, Kazim, take it. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a risk and just overwatch everyone here. I would love if these guys moved, moved in, but I don't assume that they will. Now the question is, can I attract them without attracting the mech spawn? This is the only sensible place to move and it's not that great, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay, 
so I think I managed to get just these two guys. And yeah, we're gonna lead with the explosives. This is a great man. Stefan can even then take the shot thanks to the skill. I have to say that some of these classes get pretty powerful. Since he has a good shot at this... No, I'm gonna go for this one instead. Nice hit even with the dodge. This is another round where the lightning hands would be far better. Far better than the tight eye. Yeah, I just think that the lightning hands is way more flexible overall. Since you have a bad shot at that Archon, take up the sector. Don't on them. Fifteen. Kill confirmed. Yeah, I would save it that damn it. Nice, you got the promotion as well. The question is, do I want to move up or not? I guess that would lower our odds, so maybe I will take the shot with the sniper first. See, see what happens. He won't move anyway. Really happy with that. He's on fire, but still, I'm not happy with that. I'm just gonna take the shots from up here with the with the hate at some and advantage. I only scratched him. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, so he's down. Impressed yet? Don't get too cocky, man. I'm gonna make the fall of the leader move with Kazim. I think he will be the guy who will blow up the wall. That's it. At later stage. Okay, we might alert the max spawn right now, but we probably will do that sooner or later anyway. I can see actually them. Yeah. Oh, there's two mech spawns. Okay, this might get hairy. <clears throat> I think I will actually make the move with Kazem because this is a full cover and I will okay, move him there anyway. I think I can get get that last guy. But this looks good to me, so yep, let's do it. I might alert that second spawn too. A bit lucky there. Can we see the target? We cannot. But I can pretty certainly take out that one guy. Now this move ca might get tricky. It's a good flanking shot. I'm gonna do this move first because I still have the stasis and mink beacon if this reveals something bad. Maybe I wanna... no. No, just gonna move here. Position confirmed! Okay, so good. Far so good. Yeah. Kinda figured that 
it's probably probably impossible to get two of them. I'm gonna try to get him with the shotgun. I mean Trevor is delivering. Enemies down. With his Running on ammo. <laughs> That is actually a pretty terrible shot, but I do have the flanking shots from here. Maybe I wanna take the shot with Stefan against the against the mech from down here. Except that I cannot. I do need to move up because these guys are moving way ahead of the rest of my troops. Just, just so shameful cover here. Spirit doesn't actually see anyone, so he he's pretty much free to move up, I think. I'm gonna take this shot, see what happens. Not much. Oh man. Negative damage. Okay, it just got very tricky. Let's do this. This might actually be a half cover. No, it's still it's still flank. Score. I am. On reserves. Do I wanna risk trying to get that mech down this turn? That won't do it. That I might actually no. It won't do it either. Let's just take a normal shot then. That's a lackluster shot. I could still take it out with the grenade, so maybe I should just do that. And be careful not to reveal the second mech. Yeah, I mean guaranteed kill is guaranteed kill. I still have plenty of explosives with that blaster and bomb. I do wonder if this will blow up the loot. I sure hope. Or I hope not, but I guess we'll see. So here comes the second I was kinda hoping that this would be the time when I can sneak in. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Yeah. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Sneak in the attack at towards the objective. Okay, since so Stefan has the lightning reflexes, I think. I think he will. We actually, we cannot see the target from here. Maybe I can see it from here. Nope. This will happen anyway. Okay, now we are running out of explosives. Pretty, pretty okay shot at both of them. Okay, 
Spirit can get shot from here. I'm gonna take it. Finally. So yeah, this is actually a flanking shot, so I'm gonna go with that one. Oh come on. Oh come on. One short. Got no ammo. Kazem actually only has that gas grenade left, so... I guess Trevor could do some... Do something like... No, oh, man. This could be very dangerous move. But it would give us so much... A large advantage. Because I would get a good shot at that guy. And I would see the okay. Let's do Objective in range. Check the bot, please don't be here. Okay, so it's not. I'm actually gonna go for the mech. Nice. Target down. My weapon's spent. What that actually means is that she can take out the last guy with this dog and he she doesn't need to be in cover for that whatever you say I'm actually tempted to try to take it out because I am first Just because of that experience team. Is that too greedy? No. But it's a huge overkill nonetheless. Sib neutralize. J'aurais besoin de munitions par ici. Okay, so this I can probably just touch I. Yep. So at least it's useful at something. Or not. Цель не поражена. I guess I cannot that I that. Scanning. Well. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab the loot. But not with him because he's out of ammo. We're going to go. I thought this was certain hit. Maybe it's not. Okay, I want to take the mistake back. Kill it. Nice job. Nice job. Menace 1 5, we've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. And then I'm thinking I will just slowly grind. Back online. Find a way to seek the bot. I do still have the free reload, so it's definitely gonna actually be a He should be safe there. Overwatch! Overwatch! Got some admin here! Okay, so it's the huge one, okay? This might be an issue. Oh, that threat would have been... That threat would have been nice. Come, Sean! Take 
Okay. It might be time to try out the blaster launcher. Come on, T three. It works, apparently. But also slow to straight with Stefan. I'm actually thinking maybe we just stasis that guy now. I just don't think that we can kill all of them in one go. But I will leave the stasis for the last move. We have some very, very bad shots. I guess the gas grenade could work also. Out of ammo. Yeah, I think because I'm going to this side. Use the free, free reload. I don't think this grenade shreds. Something weird about the targeting in here. But I guess this is the best I can do. This should guarantee the kill on one of them. Two of them, nice. It did straight. Okay. That's very good to know. So I could have used it way more than I actually have. I don't think we can get the guy in the back. Can we stasis him? Is the question. We can't. But we can we can certainly mimic peek on him. No, <laughs> I need any kind of cover here. And this cover is well, it's kind of is full cover against the sector, but I guess Would this break that wall. No, I think it's just short of that. Okay, so if we're going to use the mimic beacon. We should be safe to do whatever stupid moves we want. Good copy, moving on target. Like this for example. Oh, he didn't take damage, okay. It still should be fine. So we have 71% on the guy at the back. We can most of our guys can only shoot this guy. So I'm just gonna take that. Spirit can still get a shot at the sector pop, so. Let's move already. Let's move up. Should have taken the shot with spirit first, apparently. Okay, I'm still going to do the mimic pickle. 
I do think that this is the last spawn. Oh, actually, I should have tried the shot first. But I don't think I have good enough odds to kill it right out. Well, 50% crit. It might actually happen. Nope. Well, he might still die. Yeah. Okay, the mimic beacon was waste. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. But Status confirmed. Mission in accomplished. The end, it was flawless mission for once. Oh my god, it has been so long. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. But I could listen. What an excellent mission. And I didn't even have my 18. Or I had a half of my 18, let's just say. Because Kazem and Stefan are so damn good. And not to forget our C operative. She's pretty damn awesome as well. Ivan, welcome to the Big Boys Club. Same for you, Trevor. in the field have certainly encouraged the crew. Only one promotion. I guess I should have be happy. Kill zone. Really? Kill zone. Huh. Well, I know I won't take Phantom with that. We know that Phantom and Kill zone absolutely do not work together. Shotgun is a bit bad weapon for the kill so but I think it should be fine. Great, good job. Advanced laser sight and super repeater. Nice, a whole lot of wrecks. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. And finally, the soul force is cancelled. Oh, that is so good. And we get the engineer, which is nice. Kazem is recording. Kill Lemons is ready to go to work. I mean, I don't really need extra contacts right now, so. Kyle just start working on that. So it's still 90 days, but we should be able to move more guys there very very soon. Right, we're doing this shadow chamber. <coughs> okay, let's do some scanning. Ooh, ooh. I do wanna investigate that, but I do need to be wary of the UFO. Maybe I will actually grab these supplies first. We are in no hurry. Avenger so. plotting new course. Even though the Ava oh right, we are going out of another way around. Even though the Avatar project is kinda getting way out of hand. Was the thing I was going to say. Okay. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences in near infinite combination, yet all bearing similar genetic markers, human markers. Must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands. And the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's an admission file 
from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. Okay, hold your horses, boys. We will get to the New yes. objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. Code name Crestobea. Boy, I don't even want to know. My initial curiosity and excitement regarding the or, or, earlier discover, discoveries involving the recovered alien data have been all but extinguished by the disturbing results of my latest tests. Having analyzed the composition of the green hued substance retrieved from the advent black site, I can only draw one conclusion, that the facility was designed to solely for the refinement and production of concentrated genetic material, human genetic material. With the entirety of our ship systems dedicated to my analysis, I found that the single vial we recovered contains the unique, unique human genomes of over one million subjects. Wow! One million people convicted to join the advent cities out of desperation, then subjected to appealing experiments that eventually cost them their lives. To what end, I can only imagine. Earth Icon. Millions, eh? That's a lot. Okay. I am ready to begin on your order, Commander. I'm starting to see why everyone was so busy, but I'm actually gonna do these research. This fearsome creature, long referred to as a berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. Fascinating. I had fully expected to find that the aliens were conducting questionable experiments involving human captives at the black site we raided with the help of local resistance operatives. What we did find was something more reprehensible than I could have possibly imagined. A facility solely dedicated to the rendering and refinement of human genetic material on an industrial scale. The aliens have crossed the boundaries of known science. Consequences be damned. Indeed. So, what do we have going on? Not much. I think I will continue at the... We do need supplies and stuff. We've made initial contact with the resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. Right. They're going to show us how to get into the alien forge facility. Just hold on for a mo moment. Uh... So we can do this whenever we want to. I think we will do it very soon, but right now I'm gonna do these two scans. Strategic resource located. Okay, that was completely not worth of my time. Avenger plotting new course. I'm more interested in this one. Oh, we're going all the way around, eh? Commander. 
Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Okay. So we do need to do something very soon. Right. So, we have actually Elarim crystals now. From that building. Gonna put Sanchez Ferina over here. I mean, we don't need the contacts right away, so I'm gonna actually put mobs on, on defense duty for now. I mean, I don't think we need this defense matrix turrets either, but. Things got good chance. What room is this? Oh, okay, it's part of the gearscape room. We lack supplies Commander. to build. Build a sniper rifle. Oh, we lack a lot. Uh, yeah, it was super expensive. But with that scanning, we might. Just have enough eleven crystals. So All definitely. the people, millions of innocent lives, unknowingly walking right into the aliens' trap. We should have realized sooner. We knew the aliens couldn't be trusted, but their message has always been louder than ours, and they've certainly got a lot more incentives to offer in the city centers than we do out here. Either way, we can't let this go on, no matter what the cost. Yeah, I agree. I do need the Elarim crystals first. Shizm. It's kind of weird that we have stasis and stasis sealed. They do the same thing. But I do think that the Inspire might actually be very clutch in certain places, so let's do that. Okay. That was the hidden event. Oh man. So we need to do one of the bases. If we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Let me get these crystals, man. The UFO was right there. Holy shit. Okay, so it's flying above us, so I think we are safe. We could actually build something in the proving grounds. Yeah, but should use the LRM crystal. I'm gonna wait. Or maybe I should do one of these. We only have two cores. I'm gonna wait. Maria da Silva, you're gonna be wasted there, but. Such is life. Right. We don't even have anyone wounded anymore, but... Let's continue scanning. I need those crystals. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the Resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the really? right approach. We will have to do better. Well, feel free to try to do better, man. I mean, Jesus. I guess we let the Avatar progress go. Go, yeah, but still. I wanna say F you, man. <laughs> okay, finish this first. Skungili. Right. 
I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. As if the typical Muton wasn't aggressive enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. So yeah, I don't actually know what the Overdrive Serum is. Or I don't remember. Oh, it's here. Overdrive Serum, der derived from the adrenal glands of the Berserker alien. Boosts a soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage resistance for multiple turns. Overdrive Serum can only be used in combat once. It will be removed from the soldier's inventory permanently once activated. Okay. So... It's OP, but you get very limited use. I think I will do these next. This specimen, henceforth referred to as the Gatekeeper, seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. UFO needs to get the hell out hell away from Strategic resource located. 78. Holy shit, that was good. Now I need to Avenger plotting new course. Commander, that UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Okay. Setting course for the Brazilian corridor. Wait, what? Okay. And how long will this? Oh no! Don't tell me we died. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. Okay, interesting. So I guess that We're was a script to the event. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. This will probably happen eventually. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. Oh, that's a nice, but yeah, I think we are fine without wounded soldiers. But since this probably will end the mission if we fail, I'm gonna take our top sniper. Can we... Uh, oh right, Spirit is major, but... Is Culper really the best ranger? No, we have Molly. Everything available. 
Holy. Take the Exo Suit. Take the proper weapon. Take the Shredder Gun. And the Mind Shield. You are set pretty much. So is there fun? Serial needs to get a proper weapon. Tools. Spider suit. Dragon rounds. And I'm actually thinking, thinking about doing this. Using this superior. I mean, in the sniper rifle, this just makes sense with the kill zone. This actually stock might be nice with kill zone too, but I think the scope is must have. So I'm gonna switch the auto loader into super expanded magazine. Upgrade actually. It's time to use the advanced laser sights we got in the last mission. And I could actually put the superior repeater. Yeah, okay, it's, it's okay. Right, what else? I think this will be it. Oh, Kazem is probably not shaking anymore. So he can actually grab the blue screen ammo then. Or maybe go with the EXO suit. No, I, I do like the ammo for one of our, our guys. So yeah, this will be the squad. I'm actually not gonna use the demo. I'm actually gonna put him in AXO suit. Yeah, this makes more sense. So yeah, we have plenty of explosives, so it will be explosive episode. But see you guys on the next episode. Bye!